Hey guys, hope you're well. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how do we convert a common fraction, which is something like um, 2 over 5, how do we convert that to a percentage? Well, we must understand that a percentage is whenever you have something out of 100. So we need to try and make this number become 100. So you could do that by multiplying by 20. And what you do at the bottom, you do at the top. And so that will then become um, 100 at the bottom and then 40 at the top. And then whenever it's out of 100, we could then say that that is 40%. So that's all you do. Get the number at the bottom to 100. So let's go do a couple of examples now. So 5 out of 10. So we know that to convert it to a percentage, we need to know what it is out of 100. So we need to get this number to 100. So we could do that by multiplying by 10. And what you do at the bottom, you do at the top. And so that'll be 50 out of 100. And that is 50%. 3 out of 20. So to convert this to a percentage, we have to get this to 100. So to do that, we could multiply this by 5. And what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so that's going to end up being 100 at the bottom. And then that looks really weird. 3 times 5 is 15. And so that's going to be 15%. 21 out of 25. So you've got to get this to 100, the number at the bottom. So we can multiply that by 4 and multiply that by 4. And that will give us 84 out of 100, which is then going to be 84%. Now, keep sticking around because we're going to do some interesting ones such as this one over here where a lot of learners get confused and something like that. Learners also get very confused because they can't think of a way to get to 100. So with this one, it's really easy. We know that if you just multiply this by 2 and then you, what you do to the bottom, you do to the top, you end up with 92 at the top. So if you get 92 out of 100 in a test, for example, well, you did very well. You got 92%. Now, here's where learners get a bit confused because you can't go from 30 to 100. But what we can do, let me show you a little trick. If we divide this by three, what you do to the bottom, you must do to the top, that'll give you two out of 10. Now we know the number 10, if you multiply that by 10, what you do to the bottom, you do to the top, that'll then give us 100 at the bottom, and at the top it'll give us 20, and so therefore 20. Here's our last example. So we can't go from 40 to 100. Well, you can, but it might get a bit weird. But what we can rather do is, for example, we can divide this by 4. What you do to the bottom, you always do to the top. So that'll give us a 3 over 10. And now we know that to get from 10 to 100, you just multiply by 10. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And that'll give us 30 over 100, which is then 30%.